Hello everybody, we're back to part 94 of you, me, and Minecraft. Now, I would like to say I apologize for the breaks in between each video. So, we're just going to get right into it. Please do like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know if you enjoy these videos. Somewhere right here, there's going to be a black box. Click that. It takes you to the playlist. Links in the description. Discord, Beacons page. All my socials are there and Sociopathic Gamers channel. Now also one more thing before we get to into this video. So, some of you have probably noticed if you go check out the Beacons page, there is no membership page anymore. I am no longer going to be doing memberships until we unlock memberships through YouTube. For those of you who don't know, when June hit, uh, as you know, a lot of companies like to change their logos and such. Now. I would normally not really have a problem with this, however, when I got onto the website, it was literally shoved in my face. Not, not, not easily, not like, oh, hey, this, we changed this, here's the logo, no, like, it was full force shoved in your face, like, you go to the home page, you click on anything, their profile, it, it, it's, it's shoved in your face, so, upon seeing that, I was just, no, uh, I was, I was, I was good, so I went and refunded the memberships, which is only one person, so I went and refunded it, canceled their membership, which I can do, removed all my information off the site, and completely deleted my account off their website. So, those of you who know what website I use, good. If you don't, I'm not going to say the name just so, you know, they, I'm not going to say the name in this video just so they can't, you know, try anything. However, I'm kind of very annoyed when I woke up and saw that because I even made a suggestion before that they, they should start their own money transfer service because their website was good. Their website was nice. It was a good website. Genuinely, it was a nice website. They didn't take all of your money like PayPal does. It wasn't horrible. It was nice. They had shops. They had merch. Everything there you could do on that website. Well, like I said, I suggested they make a money transfer service and then take way less than PayPal and they would all they would make bank that way too. People would use it. And then I, like I said, I got on, saw that, and I was like, nope, I'm done. I'm never touching their service again. So just saying this now, I will never be using their service ever again. Strictly because I don't like when businesses get political in any way, shape, or form in, that, in, in, in certain situations. Obviously, if a single person owns that business and they had that political view before they even made the business, okay, whatever. It's an individual, not a full freaking business team full of people. Now, an entire business full of people, though. I'm sorry. Now, you shouldn't be getting political at all. You shouldn't be changing shit. You should leave everything the exact way it is. You shouldn't have any political stances at all as a actual team-run business. None. You're a business, not a freaking political pawn. Anyway, that's enough about that little rant. Let's just get right into the video. Hello everybody, welcome back. So, before we get into it, I know you may have noticed that in the intro, I didn't have the game unpaused. That was on purpose, I didn't want the fire, uh, the sound of the fire and everything distracting you guys from the actual intro itself this time. Um, I'll go back to normal intros tomorrow, however, so, real quick, we are going to come down to the membership monument really quickly and we're gonna go look like this so before we get too into it hypo man x i think i do thank you for the support it means a lot you will not be removed from the discord your support tier will not be removed so you were good you're still gonna have it i will say though however once i get access to memberships through youtube itself a week after i get access to the memberships i will let you know when it is just just in case, and if it's not activated after a week, I will be removing the role. The Discord you can stay in, but the role I will, will be removed just because you're technically no longer a supporter. Um, however, as I said, I do thank you for the support. It means a lot. Anyway, so, memberships have been cancelled. And there will be nobody in this room until YouTube memberships are active. So, let's go up to the chest room real quick and put this stuff away. Okay, here we are. So, real quick, we're just going to throw this stuff in here. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
There we go. Okay, so uh, we're gonna need to make some tools. Uh, let's see. So pickaxe, shovel. Hey, there we go. So my plan for this episode, I didn't really have too much of a plan. Um, because I have yet to actually get a silk touch pickaxe. So what we are actually going to do, I guess today, just because, is we're going to go and real quick. Where is it? There it is. We're going to grab some bread. Um, and as you may notice, I got the sugar cane and everything there. I am actually... Let's see where we're at. Where are we at? Uh, no, I think. Okay, wrong way. Wrong way. We need to go up. I think it's. Is it above this floor? Hang on. Okay, yeah, the farms are up here. Ooh, I. Hmm. I might not be able to have the farms here because I'm going to have to dig this floor out. Well, actually, no, I can't do that. What I'll do is. I'll, uh, because I'm obviously not going to be expanding this chest room any bigger once I take it the whole way around. Because, like, how many chests are going to be here? That's going to be plenty. There's already, I already don't even have them all filled yet. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take it and then I'll take the other floor the same distance back and I'll just start the farms after I get that dug out. So I'm going to start digging this out here so we can get some farms going. But I think for now, we're just going to get the one side dug out so I can get some wheat grown so I can start getting more food going um but yeah so we're just gonna get right into that and you'll see some little speed stuff but let's just go Okay, everybody, we're back. Uh, so we didn't dig too far. We hit some water, uh, and that's actually the entire ocean right there. So that's going to be fun. Um, so I'll just have to go like that. And when we go to replace the roof, I'll just have to... Uh, <laughs> I'll just have to uh, make sure I take that into account. Later on, I'll have to go outside and fill more, do dirt. So we'll see. So, real quick, I want to get this right. So, I'm going to go count downstairs. So, okay, so not counting. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six from, from the doorway, not at the doorway. Okay, so here's the doorway, right? Yep. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start with the actual farm itself. I'm gonna dig back away. So one, I'm gonna dig back away. Okay, now that we have that dug out, that's pretty much what, how big it's going to be. Well, minus the roof. Um, I'll be actually filling that in as I go. So we're just going to get the rest of it dug out and I will be right back. Okay, everybody, so while digging, I, uh, came across a little something. Is this one I've already explored? 
No way. This is a freaking new abandoned mine shaft. Oh my god, and it's in it's literally in my base. Right here is that end wall for downstairs. I literally almost hit this. That's awesome. Okay, so Yeah, that spider farm's like right there. Yeah, it's like right there. Okay. So we're gonna have to deal with that at some point. Um, I think I might light it up to keep it because it's kind of nice. Even though they're poisonous, it's still nice to have a spider farm this close so I can have it in my base. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Uh, let's actually go immobilize that spider farm right now. Okay, that's enough to disable it. And just for the sake of making it a little bit better to get around. We're gonna open this up a little bit. Okay, there we go. There we go, opened it up. This is actually pretty cool, okay, and now we can continue digging. Uh, so we're actually almost back. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna go until I completely empty this, so let's just keep going. Okay, everybody, there we go. So we got a dug out. Um, I got a little bit of the roof dug out too, just so that when I go to put the roof in, I know we'll be good. I well, I know I have to fix that, but that's fine. I just real quick, let me actually go grab some. Let me actually go grab some dirt and fix that up real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Now we should be able to dig all of this out without breaking into water. And there we go. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so we can dig this. So what we're quickly going to do, well, we can actually get rid of this now. Um, did I? Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna quickly go grab some building blocks for this floor. We're not gonna do the walls or anything. Um, no point in messing with the walls or nothing just yet. Um, so we're going to get right into it. Remember, this isn't going to be the farm. The farm is going to be back over here. So I'm going to go grab some blocks and I will be right back. Okay, so we are back. So real quick, we're actually going to dig these out. Not too worried about if I can't get them. I'll just go when I walk down to the chest room to get them. Uh, so we're actually going to dig these out. And 
we are going to actually fill that in there too, just so I don't gotta really worry about it too, too much. Um, okay. Okay, so we're gonna need more than these, that's fine. I can actually place correctly. <laughs> okay, so for right now, we're just going to get this up and running. So we have the center here. Right? And one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Okay, so this will actually work out then. Because we have four on each side. So we'll put water on that side, put water on that side, and then we will start planting. Irene, give me this. Okay, so we're gonna dig this out. And that right there is why I filled that in like that, because I knew eventually I was gonna have to probably dig into the floor like this. Um, but uh, don't worry about how we're gonna access this. I'll come up from the other floor. Um, actually, speaking of that, let me go like this real quick. I should be able to hit it from here. Oh, that's because I'm so far away. Okay, so. Ah. We came from here. Okay, so. We'll dig out. Right here. Cobblestone. I see now that's cobblestone there. Okay, so here's what we'll do then actually. We'll go like this. Go like this. Move those. Patch that with some stone brick. And there we go, hasn't changed at all, except if we dig through here, we now have access to the, well, I can actually turn it like this, just so it's a nice access way, but, so now we have access to the, this here, and we don't gotta really worry about this being in the way here. Okay, there we go. So now we have full access to the farm and to the mine shaft as well without having to go and make really too much of a change to the farm itself. So that'll be nice. So real quick, we're just going to go one, two. And there we go, we're centered. Nice, nice, and now we can go with this. So it's two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yep, there we go. I'm just hoping we don't get a glitch here, because that'd be kind of annoying if I'm being completely honest. Okay, so real quick, we're going to redo some torches in here. Okay, so this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. So, then we're going to do... 
one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Okay. So now I can do this. I guess we should hit the back wall too, huh? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So we'll just split the difference and do two each. And there we go. We should have enough light on this now. And just to be safe, we're gonna go do this and split the difference. Okay, and we're not going to mess with this farm just yet until it's all completely wet. Because I want to make sure there's no glitch spots. So real quick, we're going to go grab some more of these, finish the floor. Okay, I got some more. So we're just going to quickly finish up this floor. Okay, that'll work. Especially here. I'm going to dig it all out, make an open floor plan. So it's all going to be like all dug out, open floor. And then it's just going to be a farm the whole way around. So... Um, but as of right now, it definitely looks like we're going to get all of these wet. But I, like I said, I don't want to mess with any of them just in case it decides to glitch. Okay, um, real quick, we're going to leave this. Move the bed just so it's a little bit more decorative and not as weird looking. Um, huh? Uh, oh, I filled that in. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, we're not gonna be able to fill that in then. In those spots. Um, hmm. I did not take that into account. Um, yeah, because right here's where I filled in. And if we dig it out, yeah, see, the other ones aren't. So I did not take that into account. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's what's messing it up there. Okay. So I think what I can do is I can still do all of the... Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, what do I do for that? Because there's really no way I can... Mm. I kind of wanted to make this an open floor plan, though. And it's not like I can place these upside down and have the tops just slabs. If I could do that, I would do that, because that would give me more room anyway. Um, you know what I can do for up here for the chest? I'll make a wall. I'll just do I'll just do a straight I'll just do a wall. We'll just keep it like this. But when I go and dig it out, I'll fill in everything that's not above the chest as a solid block, and then I'll go around where the chests are and I'll just put the blocks back. And I'll do like cool decorative like hedges or something. Obviously you know, farm floor hedges and everything. I'll do something decorative like that. So we can still have it like that, but it's still hidden. It's not ugly in any way. I think I'll do that. Um, I definitely think that'll work. Okay. Let's see. Oh, so far it's only these two that aren't wet. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I can live with that. Completely. I can live with that. So it's an 8x8, eight eight, so all the, this entire stack should be able to be planted here. This right here should be a stack of seeds. Look at that, a stack of seeds, just in that one section. So we're gonna get one, two, three, four stacks of, four stacks of wheat in just those sections. 
Plus, once I actually go and dig it all out, this entire... So, we're, yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of freaking bread. Oh, hey, that freaking wet. Okay, so these two are just taking a little longer, but they're still going to get wet. That's awesome. Okay. And then, yes, we're going to be digging this by hand just because I don't really care to make it automatic. It did. Okay, awesome. And a stack of wheat. Yep, and they're all wet. Awesome. So let's go back to planting. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we now have that planted. We got a stack of wheat. Awesome. So now we have some source of bread again. We're good to go. And it works as well. So real quick, we're going to go. I was going to make another shovel. So shovel, we're gonna stick the stick the hoe back in there. In there, and we'll throw that in there. There we go. Yeah, let's go make the shovel. Okay, and there we go, everybody. Uh this episode, we went through, carved this entire area out here, got it looking all good, got a farm up and running, and we also discovered a mine shaft in here, which is awesome. Now, am I not saying? Am I saying that it will connect to the other one? I'm not sure. Um, eventually, after exploring it for a while, it may just straight up connect to the other one. Really, it may just straight up connect to the other one at some point. Um, however. As of right now, it definitely doesn't look like it's going to connect to it. So we will have to see where we end up. Um, but yeah, as of right now, it does not look like it's going to connect to the other one. Okay. So we'll save this exploration for another time in the new mineshaft. Um, I'm excited about this. Even though they're cave spiders, I don't think they poison you in this version. So I'm kind of excited to have that spawner so close by because I will be able to grind string. Oh, I used my other cobblestone for that. Okay. Um, okay. That'll be awesome though. I'm excited for that. Oh, and we also, uh, the episode prior to this one, we also got this tunnel up and running, so now we can run back and forth to the old base, which, as I said, it's just going to be the skeleton farm, and we have access to a cave there, too. So, knowing how close it is, we might actually hit the that cave, um, but, yeah, we have access to this mob farm. That's it. This is the only thing we have here, is this mob farm, and the access to get to the surface from here, that's, that's literally it. Uh... Which at some point I may either do a decorative building up top or do hedges around the, the bench area. Just so I can have that entrance somewhat hidden. Um, but that's actually pretty much it. That's all we did today. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out. Have a good one. See you.